Hi there, Lake Speed Jr., Total Steel Piston Rings, and I'm here at Samtech with a special speed shop tip. A question we get all the time is how do I know what ring sizes should fit in my piston? You know, a lot of guys are doing restoration projects and things like that, and of course, if you're buying brand new pistons, well, the piston manufacturer can tell you what those ring groove sizes are. But if you've got an older piston, that you don't know the history of, you don't know what ring groove sizes on that piston actually are, here's an easy way, or a couple of easy ways actually, to figure it out. So let me show you the first thing you're going to need. A pin gauge is actually the best way to actually measure the thickness of the ring groove. So there's two things we need to know about ring grooves. The depth of the ring groove and the height of the ring groove. The best way to determine that height of the ring groove is the pin gauge. Let me show you how that's going to work. So for example, we're looking at this piston right here. So to know what size it is, let's start off here. We've got a pin that's an 045 gauge pin. Guess what? It will not fit in that ring groove. So we know it's a smaller size than that. Now I'm cheating because I looked ahead and checked it all out. This is an 043 ring groove this is an 043 pin and it fits in just snug like a feeler gauge you got to know what the feel is hey if i go put in an 039 which is an, a one millimeter it fits in there and it's sloppy around so that's not a one millimeter groove it is an 043 groove and you can fit it right in there so that's one way the best way to measure ring groove the other one is to actually use a caliper and you can actually if you still have the old rings you can measure the thickness of the ring that way not the most accurate way it ends coming out as an 043 ring but it can get you in the ballpark because our guys are pretty much smart to figure it out now one really cool thing they've got here at Samtech is they've modified their caliper if you look at a standard caliper on the very end of it it's kind of a blunt end They've modified and made theirs where it can actually fit inside that ring groove to measure it. So that's kind of a cool thing you can do is check it that way. Of course, you got to really modify your caliper to do that. The other thing you can do they've really done neat is on the end of the caliper. And let me show you right here what that looks like. You can take the end of the caliper and they've modified it so that it is thinner across that section. So these the thickness of that one right here. See that one's very thick. That one's much thinner. You can see the comparison right there. This allows you to put this into that ring groove, which allows you then, I'll flip it around so you can see the gauge, to bottom it out and to measure the depth of the groove. Because those are the two really critical dimensions of the piston ring groove. The depth and the height. To get the best ring seal, you need the best ring fitment. So that's just for performance. You want to get the right fitment, the right back clearance, the right vertical clearance for your piston. The ring's got to fit it correctly. Other thing is, if it doesn't fit that depth correctly, it can cause all kinds of bad things. Proper clearance is proper fitment equals proper performance, and that's your speed shop tip. Thanks for watching.